All right, this is Hinkle with South Mississippi Gamers. Today I am playing my normal arch nemesis, Anthony Ryan, a chaos follower of the, uh, the Fastball Group. Let's see what he's bringing today. So he's got us little bikers, corn berserkers. What's that you got down there again? Some obliterators. Explain them all. What's that? You know what? I like that idea. Right. Well, that's that's Anthony Ryan's list. We're gonna start down here and go down. What you got? Got durable bikers. They have a uh, multi meltas, and I have a chaos durable lord right here on the bike. He's got a power fist. Got obliterators. I got three of them on the board. I've got chaos. Well. Corn Berserkers. Uh, I got two squads. They got 17 men. And they have Icons of Wrath. This is a regular Chaos Space Marine uh, squad. 20 men. They also had the uh, Corn Juggernaut Lord on board. He's got a demon weapon. So look out for him, people. Yeah, I hate him. Uh, Predator, dual last cannons. That's pretty much it. That's a lot. That's a lot of foot sloggers. See how that goes. All right. All right. Uh, this is Hinkle's army here, playing Imperial Guard. Uh, we got on the list here. Uh, um, starting here, with the, these are veterans and a uh, regular Chimera. Melta guns. Some plasma guns here. This Mighty Skew squad here. I loaded him down with a bunch of plasma guns. Hopefully, I can get some twin link action out of that. Uh, here I got a platoon leader with a bunch of flamers inside. The flamer turret, a little different than the rest of them. Over here, I'm running a squad of hydroflax in the middle, so I'm still within four inches for a squadron. Uh, I'm running a Lehman Russ stock, nothing special. I wrapped them with an Aegis defense line to get my four up cover safe. Over here, running another Melted Gun Veteran Squad. Down here on the end, I'm running a Plasma uh, Veteran Squad. In reserves, I have three Vendettas. The two uh, green Vendettas, I have Elijah Jump Troops in them with uh, regular infantry guys with uh, Flamers. And I have Marbo also in reserves. So, watch out for him. Hey, uh, what was your Warlord trait? My Warlord trait was minus one to all your reserve rolls. You have nothing in reserve, so I have a great Warlord trait. Yeah, mine sucked too. Mine gave me hatred or something against Space Marines. I have tons of non-Space Marines in my army. Yeah, I noticed. So, uh, I did not steal initiative, so we're about to start this off. We're getting around one. Anthony Ryan running across the field to his death. Or the Emperor. All right, All right, it's the end of Anthony Ryan's turn one, round one, turn one, and I think he had a pretty successful one now. Come on, it over here. Nurgle Bikers with the Lord, uh, he is this guy. Zoomed up, turbo boost, that's what this means. I don't have a turbo boost marker. <clears throat> so they're trying to get closer to the armor. Uh, Core Berserkers moved up, rolled a six for run, so they're starting to get into the ruins here with an objective. Uh, let's see. The Chaos Space Marines with Juggernaut Lord moved up, rolled a five to run, so that was really good. They're moving up. Core Berserkers over here ran up, rolled a one for run, so they're kind of tripped on their way. Uh, obliterators. They're the MVP, MVPs of the round. No, they were. They did get one result. It was a weapon destroyed on a Chimera. Yes. But then the Predator came up. Well, I tried the Predator. And he went ahead and just totally destroyed his Chimera up there on the hill. Yep. Blew up seven of his guys. Yeah, what did they they passed their leadership, passed their penning. Well, I got first blood, so that's a good what? point. I'm in the lead because of this guy. I want my tank back. Yeah, well, it's your turn now. Shoot some Marines. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we're at the round one now. And uh, I thought I was doing real good on it. Right in the beginning I did, but then I didn't really go much way up. So we'll start down here on the end. 
Uh, I moved these two tanks up here. Ended up getting a couple uh, lucky shots over on those bikes, and I think I took out four bikes. Yeah, you did good. That, that was pretty good. Bad thing is, I, I still have one melt to go on. So. Didn't really do a whole lot with the Corn Berserkers there because they're running in the terrain. I'm not too concerned with the ride the second. I had to be able to deal with the biggest threat first. I fired my Lehman Rush and uh, my Hydroflax into the squad over here. And I took out was it four or five guys over there. I took out about six. Six, okay. I had absolutely no look with these guys whatsoever. In fact, one of them died from uh, burning himself up with a plasma gun. Uh, Overall, I believe that my round one was about even to what he took out. There we go. There we are. Back to round two. It's my turn two for chaos. Basically, I moved up all my Marines. They ran. We're getting closer to the tanks, the yummy part. We're shooting. There wasn't much. Obliterators. Did not do much at all. I think I got a whole point. They went pew pew. Yeah. The magic. The magic happened over here. Yeah. I had three bikes. He overwatched me from his chimera, killed one, darn it. They charged, the Chaos Lord with his fist took care of this chimera. It blew up six of his guys. They're not pinned and it didn't run away, so that's bad for this guy. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see what he can do to me. The Emperor protects. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Next round, here we go. All right, we're finishing up here at round two, and I got a little look at my reserve rolls. I had all three of my vendettas come in. Marvo, he's still sitting in there waiting. I guess he wanted to see how much damage he had done before he came in. Uh, my ideal plan with my vendettas was to come in and try to make a pinch hole here to try to get some wounds on his uh, warlord there. Uh, didn't quite work out, but he did a lot of good lookout serves at the stage, but a lot of the guys around him have been killed. Yeah, he killed about seven. Uh, the other vendetta here shot back at the Predator tank, and I ended up getting a shaking on it, a whole point. So that made it where at least not going to shoot this round. So that, that was effective there. I shot my Lehman Russ at it, scattered off away, so that was totally ineffective there. Uh, I had my HQ squad here shoot a whole bunch of plasma at the same squad with the Warlord in it. Killed a couple guys in it, I believe, but uh, it, it ended up getting a wound on the Warlord as well, so that, that was good. Um, over here, the, the Smelter Gun squad shot, fired, great into this guy and rolled up but once for uh, damage, so completely nullified that. Plasma Gun guys, they shot at him, got a wound on him. Uh, other than that, I got my other muscle gun squad over there. They've been sitting there in limbo waiting. And uh, my other Chimera was shaking, so I backed it up since it couldn't fire anyway. Uh, and that's where we're at right now. So that's uh, the end of round two going into the uh, top of round three. My turn three for Chaos. We got some action over here with the Corps of Berserkers. They were able to charge these infantrymen who were left right here. Notice they're gone now. They yep. got murderalized. Bloody salsa. And then they moved up here with their uh, five they rolled after they won. Chaos Lord tried to charge this. He didn't do so well. They rolled a four for distance. They got a wound, too. Yeah, the guys inside were so cheap, they decided to shoot at them. Get a few sixes. Uh -huh. Plasma. Jeez. Over here, this group still consists of these three guys. They tried to charge his tank. It was a long shot, I know. With a bunch of flamers. Oh, yeah. He so sneaky had flamers inside here. Only four of them. Four guys with flamers. I rolled crappy in my armor. Lost, I think, six guys. And I rolled really good on my... I rolled a whole bunch of sixes. Horrific. Okay, these berserkers are moving up. Moving up. They're not, they're not rolling good on their run. That's why they're so far back. Uh, got, this predator here was shaking, so he, so he was hiding the entire turn. It's not shaking me. Obliterators, what did they do? Anything? Nothing. Yeah, I'm firing. Oh, I found out I was cheating. Oh, yeah. We have four heavies on the board. Yeah, I have four heavies. Didn't I tell you the chaos? Like I said, my arch nemesis right here. He can't win normally. He has to throw extra heavies out. Hey. I wish I could have thrown an extra Lehman Russ up here. Listen to that crap. <laughs> Anyway, since now I know 
I'm not supposed to do that. Combine these two into one group. Now I have three heavies. Not that it matters because these guys have been sucking all game. Alright, that's it. Yeah. All right, uh, we're at the end of round three now, and I had, uh, I'm going to say, a fairly successful round. It could have went a little better, but we'll see. What we started with over here, I went ahead and moved my vendetta, and I fired at his uh, newly formed group of the Blood Raiders and killed one of them. Yeah. I helped out some there. Uh, my other vendetta fired on him as well. No luck there. Hey, that's not a vendetta, Hinkle. Yeah, that's what's going to play vendetta right now. <laughs> this vendetta here. He shot uh, on the obliterated veteran of the hill, but well, guess what? He's not there no more because he died. Yeah, he was right there. Hey, it's just we're on the side of the map. We'll go all over here. This unit here. Shot some plasma over here to these guys. They fell over. They died. These dives still can't shoot at anything. If you notice something, his HQ is not out here no more. Yeah. He thought maybe this guy would have done it. No, this guy shot over to this crowd and killed some of these guys. This Hydroflax rolling a bunch of sixes killed him, which is freaking amazing. Actually, it wasn't even him that done. They got him down to one wound. And then the multi-laser off this turret got him. So it was an epic win there for the IG. Now, what I did right here was I pulled this tank here, which has a platoon squad full of flamers, and I shot a whole bunch of flamers all in here, rolling like 32 wounds. But, uh... He didn't kill very many of them because he made some real good saves. No, uh, it was flat. 32 hits. 32 right? hits, that's right. Well, automatic hit. I rolled 32 wounds. 32 dice. I rolled 32 dice. But you only wounded about yeah. 10. Yeah, 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 that's right. Took the plasma gun guys in the back here and fired at his other bike, bike from Warlord dude or whatever. Killed him. So, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're just still kind of uh, mixed up on where the game can go right now. So we'll see where it goes we're going around for. My turn four. For chaos. Not much shooting. And an obliterator shoot at a bit data. Can't remember if he hit or not, but he did. no he did. He needed six. He needed six. Uh, predator has been doing good most of the game. Uh, it took another hull point off of this Chimera, though that ultimately proved to be fruitless because I had all these Berserkers charge this Chimera. And glance it and pin it to death. Yeah, I believe his Overwatch flamed a couple dead, but it was just a ridiculous amount of glances and pins. Yep. Uh, the squad survived and moved out here. They're troops, so I need to get rid of them. My Berserkers over here, they're kind of hanging out around this objective. Because if they go charging into here, they'll never get back to the damn objective. So, that's my turn. It's getting close to the end. Yep, and here comes Marbu. Go. Alright, all I can say is, the Emperor was on my side today. Round four, things turn. Let's go ahead and look at this. First thing I did is I went ahead and uh, I had some vendet a vendetta over here, which is here now. Brought it over here. What I'm going to do next round is hover mode. It drops the troops out on the objective. There's nothing over here now that can really fight him off of that, so I'm going to have that. I hover moded this vendetta and shot the last obliterator. I moved this vendetta and took out the predator. Over here, I pretty much fired everything I could at this. The Hydras, the Lehman Rust, the Veteran Squad, the Melta Guns, and took a good chunk out of them. Over here, I took the Flamer Platoon Unit, the Flamer on this tank, and Marbo, and the Veterans in the back of this, and took out that entire large squad of Berserkers that was there. Very lucky rolling. That's all I gotta say. So, uh, we're getting ready to start round five. I pretty much got this one in the bucket, but we're gonna go ahead and finish it out so y'all can see what we we're gonna do. We'll be right back here. All right, well, we uh, finished up round five and went pretty quickly. Uh, Anthony, you uh, only had one group left, so we conquered him down, try to uh, contest the objective. 
Um, pretty much it for what's been the chaos out right? Yeah, that's all I can do. I have one troop left. That's about my only unit left. So, yeah. So, so what I did, the, um, I had this vendetta over here. It was a, uh, I started in hover mode. I disembarked these troops on the objective, moved it over 12 inches to be able to fire on these guys. Kept this squad here on the objective and captured this. This was in hover mode last turn. I disembarked the guys here on top of this objective. Fired my vendetta at these guys. Went to hover mode with the other vendetta. Fired them over here at these guys. I moved these troops that were here up to contest the objective. I moved this Chimera to fire on these guys. Lehman Russ, Hydras, and everything fired everything at these guys. And uh, we didn't really worry about rolling the dice on that because no matter what, I was going to have that objective and have it going for He was a real game turner in the beginning. I thought he had it. Uh, but when I was able to take out the Berserkers by wow, luck of just sure great rolling, it, it pretty much secured for that point. And uh, the mobility of me having my troops in the vendetta to be able to go on the other objective on the other side of the map, he didn't have a whole lot of mobility to get over there in a quick manner once I took out the bikes. It's, it's secured in there. This has been a back and forth thing with me and Anthony Ryan. We've uh, played a bunch of games this. He went one time, I went another. Today was my day. Uh, this is the, the list I'll be bringing to War Games Con, supposedly, unless uh, I need to tweak it maybe a little more. But, Overall, I was impressed with the list. Uh, I think maybe a five plate or two more would help. We'll see how it goes right now. So, uh, yeah. good game. Yep. And until the next time, and, uh, thank y'all for viewing us on South Pacific Games.